Good afternoon, everyone. I am Madhumita Dasgupta from TCS. I am the global head for SAP deliveries for our retail and CPG clients. It's my privilege today to co-present the Kingfisher TCS HANA success journey along with Mr. Mohammed El Fanici from Kingfisher PLC. Over to you, Mo. Thank you, Madhumita. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you for taking the time to come and uh, uh, see us. I'm, uh, I work for a company called Kingfisher PLC. You might have seen it yesterday flash across the screen when uh, Professor Hasso Platner was uh, giving his keynote speech yesterday. We are the Europe's la uh, largest home improvement retail group. We have, we are the third largest in the world. We have about 1,135 stores in Europe and in Asia. And we have realized something uh, like 11.1 .1 billion sales uh, uh, as of 2000, February 2014. I work with 80,000 people that serve some 6 million, 6 million customers every week in, uh, uh, in all these countries. We had um, quite a big challenge uh, about two, two and a half years ago with our BI systems uh, in, in, in Europe. It was getting quite old, very difficult to respond to business needs, quite complex and very hard to maintain. And the business wanted us to look at the state-of-the-art solution to deliver the business requirement and the business needs. We have a number of KPIs that the business wanted us to deliver, along with those we have built over the 10, 10 years of the, li of, the, of the life of the existing uh, BI solution. One of the key requirements, and we'll talk about that on a number of occasions, is the self-service. The business insisted that they wanted autonomy. I have worked with BI for a number of years, and usually you start with requirements including a number of reports and analysis that the, the business wants. This time, this was not the objective. We wanted to create the basis for the business to deliver its own report and analysis. It needed to be as fast, intuitive, and scalable. This was really important for us. We had a number of federated systems across the group with different BR systems, and we needed to start to create a common business language based on these uh, KPIs. And to test it in one operating company and then deploy it over four or five and then uh, at the end to the, the rest of the group. It, is very, it was important for us as well to empower our uh, colleagues by delivering a solution that is good enough and stop them using Excel and creating databases. So what was our ambition? First, we wanted to build the foundation. We looked at flows and integrations between various systems. Our group has quite a large number of, of applications. We have SAP, we have JDA Suites, we have BW uh, uh, and Oracle solutions. And we needed to rethink about our, our, our architecture, create, create data models and drive all of that to deliver this self-service environment for our business user. What we wanted to do at the end is deliver reporting and insight to our store, staff and colleagues. We wanted to give knowledge to our managers and we wanted to give analysis and trends and insight to our executives through a number of things. Sales at a ticket level in every store, margin analysis, understanding our competition and how can we react to their, uh, their, their, uh, their, their strategies, understand the position of our stock which is quite a large asset that we hold and ensure that our product categories that we sell to the customers are understood as far as its, their performance. And we wanted to understand who are the best performers, what we call tops and flops, the top 10s, top 20s, so the store managers can react. In effect, we created through this solution 500 KPIs scalable, we can expand them, reduce them, and then we're presenting them in universes that then the business can slice and dice, analyze and prepare reports. 
So the solution about two, uh, two years ago was we worked with SAP on a number of projects, innovation projects, and they proposed to us to look at HANA. This was the early days of the solution, quite bleeding edge, and we partnered with the core innovation team out of Palo Alto, great bunch of uh, brainiacs, phenomenal to work with, and then we started to look outside the box of how do we do this? How do we democratize data? How do I deliver KPIs? This was the first time as an IT leader, I don't create reports. I just give you the platform. You come with an idea and then you report on it. Of course, with that, we needed a strong delivery partner that has an international reach. And TCS were the perfect partner for us. They have the scale and the teams across India, the UK, the States, to actually, and in France, of course, through their new acquisition to come and help us deliver this solution in uh, for Castorama France. I'll go, I'll give you now to Adhomita to tell you how she helped us deliver this uh, challenge. Thank you, Mo. That, that was an awesome background. So keeping in view of that particular background, we had understood that Kingfisher IT was becoming the bottleneck. Business users needed more autonomy. They wanted to design their own reports. So these are the few items that had become our mandate for TCS to deliver a successful, high performance reporting platform with dynamic dashboards, which is flexible and scalable. So build one, deploy many. And the special request was to embed self-service. So now let us have a quick look at the kind of volume we had to deal with. So on a daily basis, we had to deal with about 25K of price master data, about 1.1 million stock line items, about 27K of master data, and 500K of sales data. So we had to create about 40 plus HANA models, about 17 plus bio universes, and what was the outcome? So when it comes to sales, we could give them the daily sales volume analysis, the margin analysis, the budget sales, and also from the stock perspective, the daily stock movement, the daily, weekly, monthly stock analysis, and also competitive pricing, payment method analysis, so on and so forth. Now let us have a quick look what it was meaning to the different kind of audience. So when it came to the executives and management, it meant lots of trends, metrics, and of course, response. Fast, very fast response. When it came to the business users, the casual business users, it meant slicing and dicing of data and also operational parameters. When it came to the business analysis, it meant lots of ad hoc analysis and also all the causal analysis. But due to this self-service, this particular feature, business had started becoming very, very self-sufficient. So if we now go back a little while ago, what Mo had suggested, they wanted to bring in a revolution. So from Excel, they wanted to do intelligent data analysis. So here comes self-service. So this is one particular feature where it is nothing but the business representation of the user interface, where the business user themselves can create their KPIs and objects. This particular interface layer then feeds into the technology user interface layer. And by this way, the business becomes familiar with the objects they are going to use for their reports. So self-service, in a way, it has created more and more satisfaction for the business users. They have started getting the feeling that they can make their own business reports, but because of that particular layer, it was not disturbing any of the bottom-most models. So they remained at the top-most layer, but they were given the autonomy to create their own reports. 
Now here's a quick look at the overall architecture. We had used HANA version 50 and yes, it was a challenge that during the project life cycle, there were patches, patches were coming up, but we are happy to say, and here comes the excellent partnership among Kingfisher IT, TCS and SAP. So SAP was always there to do the quick fixes and give the resolutions of those product related issues. We have used BODS, that is, you know, BO data services, the 4.1 SP1 version. And with that, we were extracting data from disparate systems and bringing them to the HANA staging layer. So, solution deployment. Now, let's have a quick look at the solution deployment. HANA was chosen because HANA was the you know, fastest reporting platform that was possible. We needed to create a flexible and scalable model and to actually support decisions regarding inventory optimization, regarding better buying decisions. We had adopted sprint-based methodology because sprint-based methodology gives the opportunity for the business users to go back and forth more business users buy in and in effect what happens is more user adoption. So by the time we were rolling out, users were already on board it. And they were very happy to be part of the entire design process, to be part of the entire self-service creation process. Build one and deploy many. This was adopted right in the beginning, but we also had to ensure that we will have to bring in that ease in the rolling out process. It, it had to be a very, very easy rolling out process. So today we are done with the first implementation and we are looking forward to roll it out with you know multiple operating companies of Kingfisher. But all these were made possible because SAP, TCS and Kingfisher IT together, in the initial days we had done a design thinking workshop we tried to build a solution which would have a very robust architecture and which also will be giving us finally the unified BI. So with this project, I'm happy to say, and we will hear more from Mo, that what kind of business challenges we could have mastered and what have been the critical success factors. With that note, over to you Mo. So as always, with this project, they started because we wanted to deliver a business benefit. So the first uh, result out of this project is in fact now Kingfisher has embarked, and this is what Professor Hasso Blattner mentioned yesterday, on uh, SAP uh, suite on HANA. This is a, quite an ambitious project, and we're going to create this template that will transform our business, a once-in-a-generation type of project for a group like ours. But what we have seen since February, since we've deployed this solution, is what Madhumita has mentioned is the quick take on and the ownership of the business. We had a plan that we'll start with sales and, and stock, but now the business wants to decommission the entire uh, B, existing BI as quickly as, uh, as quickly as possible and replace it with this new, uh, these new solutions. It allowed the business some agility. Uh, historically, as, as, a, uh, as a DIY company, we have to change our products. The range is changed, the product offer, the compositions of our hierarchy. These used to take a lot of time and effort. Every time the business comes in with a new change, it is at minimum three to six months project. Now, because we are dealing at the granular level of data and the model is already there, we can switch the, the, the hierarchies in a day. So that is a phenomenal achievement through this solution. The self-service self -service thing, I cannot underestimate it, and I think for me it's the way forward. About uh, uh, four weeks ago, uh, the, our uh, group, uh, FD directors, got together to see the, uh, the progress of, uh, and the delivery of this project. And the, a business user, one of our biggest Excel and Access the, the Database uh, producers, was there to present HANA. And in effect, he shared with them the ease at which he can interrogate data, slice and dice, produce reports, and then publish them. And for the FDs, this is key because the existing systems failed in delivering those 
benefits. It took us time to aggregate data. Every month for us, it, it was quite an exercise, whether we do month end and year end. And through this now, I can confidently say that we have moved on to analysis and to predictives rather than just basic reporting. And as far as single truth data, this is quite important to the business where you had meetings, everybody coming in with a piece of paper and an Excel sheet telling them how we reported and most of the time they were different analysis. Now there is a single version of the truth, a single database that they interrogate. So if I look back with hindsight, then I can tell you this was not an easy journey for us. We've learned a great deal that we're going to use now in this new transformation project. But one thing that was true then, and I think it's true for, for guys that will undertake this similar project, is a business engagement from the word go at the highest level, because you are trying to change mindset through this technology. Early on in the process, we worked with the, uh, the House, of, uh, Institute, uh, uh, Insti uh, House of Platinum Institute and use this design thinking process to project where we're going to be. And we got all the business leaders and SAP helped us through that process to just visualize all of this. And effectively the help of SAP throughout this from the, from the, uh, the initial stages where we worked in Palo Alto and, in the, the, and with the UK, it was critical. It was a new technology and I know Madhumita has mentioned the versions. We started I think at 30, 29, 30. We've gone live with, with 52 because we had to stop at some point and now it's, uh, we are in the process of migrating to uh, version 72. But throughout of that, we had a solid partner in SAP to help us throughout uh, this process. As for TCS, it was quite, we were not quite sure when we did the initial proof of concept, but it was important for us to ensure that we have the right team around us and TCS tapped into their vast talent across the globe. And we made sure that we used the day and we sweated the, 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 the hours. So where the offices in India were working and the UK was asleep, the, the project kept on going. And that helped us a great deal to fasten uh, 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 the, the delivery of key benefit to the business. And I think the resolution of issues, and there were quite many, was something to, to behold in terms of the quickness of responses we had. We started at some point with something like 500 blocking, 500 blocking points and to see them just melt away you know, with the help of all these, these teams around the group was phenomenal and gave credibility of how sustainable the, 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 this solution is. It was not a proof of concept. It was a solution that we can take into production. I would like to thank you for taking the time. If you have any questions, we'll be on your left here and uh, have a good rest of the, of the event. Thank you so much for your time.